Hi everyone, how's it going? Clifton here with another video. Hope you're good, hope you're well wherever you are in the world. We're here in Auckland, New Zealand. Happy New Year. Hope you had a good holiday season. We're going to go out, do some street photography. We have the Sony AS300. We've got this microphone here, which is the video micro from Rode. I've got it attached to my chest harness. And this is what we'll be using. I'm hoping the audio for this is going to work. So what do you think? How's the audio? How's it compare with the iPhone? because I don't know yet. This is my first time trying it out. I've been testing it out against some of the other cameras I've got, like the iPhone 11. Today I was thinking we could go out and take exactly 10 photos made up of lots of different photography topics. I'm going to use my mobile app, which is called Tiny Decisions. There's a randomizing app and it'll just draw a random topic. In our case, it'll be photography related. And then the results of today's photos, they'll be shared to Instagram. So without further ado, I suppose, let's head out. One issue with the Sony AS300, currently you don't have a way of being able to see what you guys see, so I don't know if what I'm doing is within frame. I just have to guess. Fortunately, it's got a wide enough field of view, should be able to see most things I'm doing. Okay, all right, I think you can see that. Now this one is the free version, we're gonna get ads. And one thing about the Android version of this app that I don't like is that it always initially shows a topic which isn't what I want it to show, but we're gonna spin the wheel. So our very first photo that we're gonna take today Will be something that is blue okay there's our challenge if you want to follow along please do that love to see what you do tag me on instagram something blue okay i think we'll do a quick camera check what are our settings oh on aperture priority um now i might put in this program Ooh. <laughs> I was watching another YouTuber's video. I'll try and put a link here if I can, but um, maybe should even go auto, what do you reckon? Full auto on all the settings. Okay, today will be an all auto day. I'm gonna give it a go. I usually have my camera with an aperture priority mode. Oh yeah, by the way, we had the Sony a7 III with the 35mm f1.4 G Master lens. I find this interesting, all these padlocks. There's one that's blue. It's like, why? <laughs> why do we have all these padlocks here? All right, maybe that'll be our first photo. 35. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like the camera it's choosing for our settings. We're only allowed to take one photo for each one of these. I need to focus on the one back there. Yeah, that one. First photo down. What will be next? Prism photo. Okay. All right. It opens up our options. From experience, I know this works really well with the 85 mil, but on the 35, it's not. Yeah, you can see the whole of the prism. Okay. Let me try that. Get another spin. Negative space. Ooh, I wonder how the audio is doing now. It's very windy. Wasn't sure I was going to need the jacket today because it was a lot warmer earlier. But I'm glad I've got it off because the weather has changed pretty quickly. Hey, one of those flowers. One of these ones here on that concrete surface would look great, but I don't want to pull it off the tree. Oh, actually, got these really colorful leaves down here. All right, let's do a quick review. Something blue, prism, and negative space. Next item, three, three things. Need to pick up the pace a little bit, fill the frame. I have to think about our aspect ratio, which is horizontal. I don't want to mix up the format of these 10 images. Wait, is that a form of perfectionism? <laughs> kind of is, right? Oh, let's look. I like that. Two photos looking at the ground. Next item. Booker. Okay, that we couldn't have done in auto mode. 
Uh, we are on aperture priority, but we're at f9. Going to go all the way to f1.4. I'll be pulling all this down soon. Next challenge, crowds of people, wow, do you have that here, yeah, bubble tea. Behind glass, wow, we've got some glass right here. That was blurry. Transport. There's a bus coming right now. All right, public transport. Shoot low. I'm wondering, can you even make out what I'm saying? Hey, how bad is it really? Oh, Jesus. I didn't think of it. But, um, went through a reflection. We should do a reflection on myself. <laughs> Out of this window. Can you see? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten photos. So we're going to head up and down Queen Street for a little bit. Just take random photos of whatever. You know, let's just see where the day goes. I'm just hoping we're not going to run out of battery, that's all. <laughs> yeah, so this guy, I think lasts about 90 minutes and then it's all out. And then we're definitely finished. So, um, yeah. Let's go out, take some more photos. One of the things I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video was to try and get out of this right of perfectionism I've had forever. Everything that I share to be perfect and that has meant not sharing a lot of stuff that was really good. If you're curious about my setup when I'm doing IRL live stream, what I'm doing today is different. I'm not currently able to stream with this camera, but I can record with it. So this is the first time properly recording a video where it's not a comparison with something else. I don't know how it's going to turn out, whether the audio is going to be okay. Audio could be a complete write-off. <laughs> it should be tragic. But, you know, whatever, we'll find out. And also all the angles and everything could be way off on this one too. I'll find out in the editing room. But yeah, that's it for me today. I want to thank you all for joining me. Hope you had a good one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go check out that other one. We'll appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.